Hi, Randy Johnson here. Thank you for joining me for this series on the absolute essentials of faith. This week, we're talking about never-ending judgment for those who refuse to believe. Let's watch the video and find out what that's all about. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead. Now, this is everybody who didn't go up in the first resurrection, who didn't rise in the first resurrection. Everybody from Adam until the last person on earth. Everybody. Pharaoh the Queen of Sheba who came to hear wisdoms, Solomon's wisdom. Everybody else. They've still been dead another thousand years. But now they raise up. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne. And books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. You ever had people ask you the question, well, what about all those people that lived before Jesus was born? How are they going to be judged? They're going to be judged right here. Paul said it this way. He said, those who have sinned apart from the law will perish apart from the law. And those who have sinned under the law will perish under the law. And those who do not have the law, when they do by nature things required by the law, they become a law unto themselves where they show that the requirements of the law are written on their hearts. And according to the degree of revelation they received, they will be judged in their response to that revelation from God. And they will be judged not by man's standards. They will be judged with God's righteous judgment. Adolf Hitler killed over six million Jews. He didn't get tried the world didn't get to see him punished. He committed suicide in a bunker. Can you imagine the anger, human anger, the human idea of injustice? We didn't get to see him get what was coming to him. But you see, God will judge that anger the same as he'll judge Hitler because his judge, judgment is not based on human perception. His judgment is based on righteousness. Pharaoh will be raised from the dead in this second judgment. Hitler will be raised from the dead in this second judgment. Everyone who has not been in the first resurrection will be raised from the dead and stand before God in this second judgment. And it says, Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. You see, the ones in the first resurrection, this lake of fire has no power over them. That's why you want to live for God. That's why you want to make sure that you do whatever you have to do to be in that first resurrection, to be in that first judgment, because the second death has no power over them. But everybody else, they will be judged for what they have done. And everyone whose name is not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. And it will not be unrighteous judgment. It will not be imperfect judgment. It will not be judgment not based on knowledge of all the facts. It will be God's righteous judgment. And it is eternal judgment. You know, as I was 
preparing the message for today. That term, eternal judgment, and I thought to myself, well, why did he say eternal judgment? I mean, yeah, why can't the foundation or the principle of this part of the foundation, why can't it just be judgment? There will be judgment. Well, the reason that it's eternal judgment is because as the time, two things, the time when these judgments take place, the second judgment in particular, and the change of nature of the physical body of human beings at the time this judgment takes place. You see, when we talk about the first resurrection, we like to talk about the resurrection of our bodies and the fact that there will be no more pain, there will be no more sickness, there will be no more death. And that's glorious, that's wonderful, that's true. But the thing is, when men are resurrected and women are resurrected from the dead, whether it's in the first resurrection or whether it's in the second resurrection, the new body given to them by God will not die. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can have notifications of future videos. Also, be sure to leave some comments down below. God bless you. Have a good week.